Good morning, my family in Christ. Welcome to another morning devotion. And today we continue to share on events that took place after the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Indeed, we must know, we must believe, we must herald this message, this event, because it gives us power to overcome and it causes others to know that Jesus is alive and that he's alive forevermore. And today we're going to share on Jesus appears to Mary Magdalene. And our meditation comes from John chapter 20, verse 11 through 18. And it reads, But Mary stood outside the tomb crying. While she was crying, she bent down and looked inside the tomb. She saw two angels dressed in white sitting where Jesus' body had been. One was sitting where the head had been. The other was sitting where the foot had been. The angel asked Mary, Woman, why are you crying? Mary answered, They took away the body of my Lord, and I do not know where they put him. When Mary said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. He asked, Woman, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? She thought he was a man in charge of the garden. She said to him, Did you take him away, sir? Tell me where you put him. I will go and get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and said, in Amharic, Rabbanai, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, You do not need to hold on to me. I have not yet gone back up to the Father. But go to my followers and tell them this. I am going back to my Father and your Father. And I am going back to God and your God. Mary went to the followers and told them, I saw the Lord. And she told them what he had said to her. The word of God to the people of God. And when we look at Mary, she was a disciple of Jesus. According to the gospel's account, Jesus cleansed her from seven demons and she financially aided him in Galilee. Mary is especially significant as the first witness to see Jesus following the resurrection and in the time when women were regarded as second class citizens. God gave Mary a woman a highly significant honor by appearing to her first and charging her to spread the news of his resurrection. Today, God is calling us as believers to get in position. What do I mean? He's calling us to seek him like Mary did. She came looking. She stooped down to see. She inquired. She heard a voice, recognized who it was, tried to cling on to Jesus. But he gave her a message and she responded and told the other disciples, and they also responded. 
get in position today. Let's hear from God. And let's do what he says. And God will help us in this hour. Father, we thank you for appearing to Mary. And you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. You can appear to us. Help us to get in position to not only hear you, but to obey you, to do what you say. When that takes place, there's a revolution. Internally, we are changed. And that will be manifest in us so that others will know and believe and receive and likewise go telling so that others can believe and receive. We bless you because you're with us. Wherever we go, you promise never to leave us nor forsake us. Thank you for rising again. Thank you for resurrecting like you said. And now we can live just like you in power, in victory, in dominion, indeed, in the glory of God. We thank you. We praise you. We honor you. For believers everywhere today, we command us to you today. Likewise, we command those who lead the nations, including our prime minister and all of parliament and their families. We say, let the will of the Lord be done in their lives. Have your way. We pray for leaders everywhere. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come even now. Those who lead the body of Christ, we pray for insight. We pray the blessings of God like Mary will receive of you. We pray that the leaders of the body of Christ will receive of you even now for the people and be before you night and day, day and night, interceding and looking to you. We bless you today and we praise you for the peace of Jerusalem, for families everywhere. Touch homes today, appear to our homes today. Establish yourself in our homes, particularly single parent homes. Establish again, O oh God, where we know that there is a God in the land so that our communities will show forth the glory of God. We give you thanks today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. So let's get in position today. Let's seek, let's inquire, let's hear, let's obey. God is with us, and we give him thanks. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen. <laughs>